Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I told you guys I'd be doing some San Diego Comic Con uh, trailer reactions, um, so I'm doing those. <laughs> Finally getting back around to them. Um, we did Wakanda Forever. Uh, there's a few more I want to take a crack at, uh, so those will be coming out over the next few days this week. Also got some uh, music you've never heard videos coming out soon as well. Uh, I have one scheduled for Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, so please check that out. But I thank you for being here. Thank you for checking this out. Um, today we're checking out She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Uh, this is the second trailer that they've dropped. Um, and so far it looks better than the first one. I'll, I'll tell you that. The teaser they dropped did not look good. I think there was a huge backlash. So I think they needed to get out something um, worthy, I guess. And they did so. So thank goodness. So this one does look better. I have seen it. I've seen all the trailers. You can't miss them when San Diego Comic Con is out. So uh, it's hard to get first reactions to those things. Um, but this is only the second time I've seen it, I believe. Second or third. Uh, I haven't really done any in-depth dive into it or anything like that. But we're going to check it out, take a closer look at it, and uh, see what it looks like. So away we go. Still in control, no overwhelming feelings of rage. No, a normal amount of rage. You do revert back to Gen 4 when you sleep. Was the air horn really necessary? For comedy, absolutely. This is a multi-year journey you're about to embark on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Who's your best friend? Nikki. <laughs> Spandex. Spandex is your best friend. I don't know if I like the Hulk as comic relief like this. I get it. I do. I just I don't know if I like it. I think I think it's like I think we're at that point now where like during this series or shortly after the series like he has to get into another mode. He has to go back to like full Hulk Rage kind of thing. Or um do something else. I'm just I'm kind of I'm kind of tired of this Hulk already. I don't know why. I just I just I, I don't I don't like thinking of Hulk as comic relief, where he's actually doing comedy bits. You know, Hulk's funny because he's Hulk, and it's just natural. But this I don't. Know. Being a Hulk asks for balance. You have so much more to learn. Yes! So I'm clearly nailing it at all these things. If you want to go back to your life as a lawyer, I, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. So we're breaking fourth wall here? Is that what we're doing? All right. More and more eccentric superhumans are coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> we are going to launch a division for them. And I want the She-Hulk to be the face of it. Jennifer Waters. Namaste. I have a serious conflict of interest. This man tried to kill my cousin, Bruce. Yeah, that's quite all right. Oh. So they are really pushing abomination, aren't they? Like, he was in uh, Shang-Chi, uh, and now he's back here. I think he was, I think he showed up somewhere else. I think he had a cameo somewhere else. I'm not sure. Uh, they are really pushing Abomination for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, but it's weird seeing him, like, locked up here when he was out and about with um, Wang, Wang, whoever, uh, in, in Shang-Chi when he was at the fight club. So th I guess this takes place before Fight Club, or did he get recaptured? Not really sure there. People only care because I'm representing Emil Blonsky. I think they care because they're like, hey, that girl's green. Jen, do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. I'm not proud of this. 
Miss Walters, we answer to a higher power. Our universe is on the edge of a precipice. I am a lawyer. We do things by the book. Oh, the book of the shanty. No, the book of American uh, laws. Jurisprudence. Whether you like it or not, you're now a superhero. Let's do this. You know that friend you had in high school? Who was way cooler than you were, attractive, got all the attention from everyone. Hello. Mm -hmm. I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? Nice. All right, so let's talk about a couple things. First of all, it looks like there's going to be a lot of cameos in here. Um, I think one of them was Prodigy. Uh, now, I didn't really get a very good look at him. More and more eccentric superhumans are coming out of right there. I'm pretty. I can't. I, I right off the bat, he, man, he almost looks like Kick Ass. That's funny, but kind of a little bit with the with the lights on the head, a little bit like Prodigy. Um, I'm not sure which one he's supposed to be. They're coming out of the woodwork. Not sure who that dude is. <laughs> Not sure who the elf chick is. Judge Price. Yeah, I don't know. If she was green, I'd call her a scroll. That would be like a secret invasion kind of stuff. We are going to launch a. But so so they're they're going to be dropping a lot of cameos. It looks like, uh, especially with Daredevil popping in there. You got Bronski in there as uh, Abomination. You got Wong in there. Um, so just they're dropping a huge amount of people in here. They're obviously putting the money to, into it. I'll say this: I think Jennifer Walters looks really good compared to that first teaser they released. Um, there was she looked a really wonky, and you'll notice that not a lot of that made it into this trailer, especially with her picking up the guy and everything. I think a lot of people were like, mm. um, but I think she actually looks pretty good. In uh, in some of these in some of these scenes, I think she looks real good right here. That's kind of a. Nick. Um, I saw the guys at Corridor Crew talking about this after the after the first trailer was released, and they were talking about her and uh, the backlash. And everybody's like, I think we've kind of gotten to the point in CGI where she looks realistic. And a lot of people couldn't immediately identify it as CGI, even though they wanted to. I think it. I think that's part of it. But I think she does. I think she looks really good in this. And I think if that, you know, if they keep up that quality of the look of her, she looks a lot like her comic book character, which is really interesting. Um, not perfect, but but she looks a lot like her comic book character. If you put, if you opened up the pages of She Hulk. Right now, um, she would look a lot like that. Um, I think you also have uh, Titania. Oh, great. Yeah, right there you have, I believe that's Titania uh, coming in here. I'm not sure who's playing her. I haven't really looked at credits or, or who's, who's acting who. Um, but I'm glad they got her in there. She's always kind of been a, a low-level villain. But she's always been the one that gives Jennifer the most most beef, and they and they they work well together. They, they kind of have like that frenemy relationship going on, and if they do that in here, I think they can pull it off pretty well. Um, I, I'm kind of worried about how serious they're going to be taking the lawyering in this. I think if you have attorney at law in your title. You should be taking it pretty seriously. Um, the proper, th the proper thing for doing it by the book. Book of Ashanti. No, the book of 
American jurisprudence. That's the word right there. Jurisprudence. American jurisprudence. That would be the term. Uh, so I hope they I don't hope they don't I hope they don't dumb that down. If they actually take Bronski to court and it's a legitimate trial, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I think you have a real opportunity to hear here to actually see superheroes in court, um, and how and how how the MCU jurisdiction, you know, how, how the jurisprudence works on them. Um, it ought to be interesting. I think they can do a lot of cool stuff with that, even just like small little cases here and there. Instead of you know, Brosky will probably be the big overarching one in this. But I think they have a. I think they have the opportunity to do a lot of cool stuff here. Overall, I'm hopeful. I think that. Um, I think they have a chance here to develop a really good female character, a really strong female character, uh, and and use her in the upcoming Phase Five and Phase Six, um, and do it well. I hope I hope they treat her a lot better than they've treated some of the other female heroines lately. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm hopeful. What do you think? Yay? Nay? Hopeful? Noteful? Leave me a comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, who do you want to see show up in there? What kind of would you like to see show up? Nothing, nothing we already described. You know, who, who do you think would be a good show up in here uh, for, for Jennifer Walters? I think, I think there's a lot of opportunity there, so I'm looking looking forward to it. Meanwhile, thanks for showing up. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. I love you. Stick around. I'll have more for you. Bye.